autistic parents, you know, invest in their time, energy, their sperm, their egg, you know, uh, in creating, you know, uh, a kind of a child that is, of course, biologically their child. But, uh, you know, the role and responsibility, you know, which is assigned to that child is quite similar to that of a, you know, slave, a servant. Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves. So today I'm going to talk about why narcissistic parents are, you know, unable to understand their children and why they are just not interested to, you know, uh, understand and try and find out, you know, uh, the kids side of story. Yeah, and uh, before I get going, I would request you all to like, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you guys are updated whenever we put out a new content. So narcissistic parents are not like healthy parents. Healthy parents choose to become parent. They start family. They get into a relationship, you know, for altruistic reasons. Yeah, their love is not conditional. Yeah, they choose to become parents. So, you know, uh, they do the best they can for their children yeah and then they set their children free they tell their children see this is the best i can now you have to do things your way and it's your life yeah it's your making go ahead and you know do whatever you want but with narcissistic parents things are you know very different and opposite narcissistic individuals choose to you know start relationship or choose to start family you know, because they want, uh, you know, slaves and servants with same genetic makeup, yeah? And uh, someone who doesn't run away, someone who is forever loyal to them, someone, you know, who is conditioned and trained in such a way that they never leave them, yeah? And that's the reason every narcissist's top priority is their children. Every narcissist's top priority is to get married and, you know, have children. Because children are very easy to mold, yeah? So, you know, narcissistic individuals can mold them into anything, yeah? And the kids uh, will be trained and conditioned to, you know, serve the narcissistic parent without asking questions. And, you know, always prioritize the narcissistic parent. Because, you know, with others... Others might, you know, uh, resist. Others might ask questions. Others might, uh, you know, disagree, refuse. But, uh, you know, when narcissistic, you know, parents have their children, they groom and condition them in such a way that, you know, the parents are the first priority for, you know, these uh, children of narcissistic parents. Yeah, they are into betraying their own self, but prioritizing the narcissistic mother, narcissistic father. So, you know, it, it is more of a, you know, I would say safe investment for these narcissistic individuals. Yeah, to have children and, you know, raise them and condition them and mold them into any form they want. So, you know, it, it's, a, you know, something which is very safe and, uh, you know, with others, you know, others can go off hook, others can, you know, betray, others can leave the narcissist. It's very difficult, you know, uh, very few kids are able to, you know, go no contact and call out their narcissistic parents' bad behavior and resist and refuse and deny all their, you know, nonsensical and, uh, you know, absurd uh, expectations. So, you know, uh, with kids, it's absolutely, you know, safe. Yeah, the chances are less, you know, for the kids to run away. Yeah, so, you know, narcissistic parents, you know, invest in their time, energy, their sperm, their egg, you know, uh, in creating, you know, uh, a kind of a child that is, of course, biologically their child. But, uh, you know, the role and responsibility, you know, which is assigned to that child is quite similar to that of a, you know, slave, a servant. So the child might look like a child, you know, uh, to the outside world. But for narcissistic parents, the child is nothing more than a, you know, short-term investment with huge return. Yeah, the child is nothing more than a puppet. Yeah, with the same genetic makeup, same bloodline. And uh, someone who will uh, never leave them, someone who will forever be loyal to them. And, you know, they start the conditioning from an early age. And as a result of which, you know, 
the kids are unable to develop a sense of self. Only when you develop a sense of self, you will be able to uphold boundaries. Only if you develop a sense of self, you will, you know, have that confidence to do things by yourself. You will, you know, uh, value your self-respect. You will value, you know, and uphold your self-worth, self-esteem. But if you are unable to develop a sense of self, you know, uh, you, you don't grow up to be a healthy individual. Some way or the other... You know, you are like a people pleaser, a doormat, a punch bag yeah, for toxic individuals, dysfunctional individuals, narcissistic individuals. So narcissistic parents train and groom their children to just see, you know, the things they show, you know, to their children, feel, you know, the way how it is, you know, uh, suggested by the narcissistic parent. And, you know, live the life the way how the narcissistic parents approve of, yeah? So, basically, it's it's a very controlled environment. Narcissistic families, everything is controlled, yeah? You are, you know, trained how you need to feel. You are trained how you need to see, you know, the others. You are trained and conditioned to think and feel in a certain way, yeah? And when all of, uh, you know, this dirty manipulation and conditioning begins from an early age, you know, it, it solidifies when you grow old, all of it becomes a part of who you are, all of it becomes your reality. And uh, I mean, we suffer a lot because of that. Yeah, because the narcissistic family, a lot of abusive, shitty things are made to, you know, uh, feel as if it's normal. Every family has, you know, uh, such ups and downs. Every family has some amount of toxicity. Yeah, that's what uh, I grew up believing that, uh, you know, abuse is a part of every relationship. Abuse is in every family. And, uh, you know, no wonder I attracted a lot of narcissistic and uh, toxic individuals in my life, even though I went no contact with my family. So, you know, uh, all that conditioning from a very young age really, you know, messes you up, yeah, at a deeper psychological level, yeah, whereas in you are unable to discern, you are unable to, you know, uh, understand what is good and what is bad. Everything looks okay for you. Everything looks good for you. As long as someone is giving you attention or someone is, you know, telling you the things that you, you know, desire to hear, you feel it's home. Absolutely okay. Uh, but, you know, you are simply unaware of, you know, the other person's intention and malice. So, you know, uh, you tend to suffer more. Yeah, people are able to, you know, trick you. People are able to, you know, easily manipulate you. People are you know, able to, you know, abuse you and exploit you and then simply get away, yeah, because we are not equipped, we are not trained to hold, you know, uh, people accountable for their, you know, disrespectful and abusive behavior, yeah, and of course the credit goes to a narcissistic parent because every disrespect, mistreatment and abuse, you know, that was thrown at us in narcissistic family by a narcissistic parent, was labeled as care and concern. They slapped us because they care for us. They abused us in front of the others. They manipulated us. It was all for our greater good. They were simply, you know, training us for this bad world. But let me tell you, the world is a very wonderful place. But the narcissistic parents are, you know, uh, actually the bad ones. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's how they distort their kids' reality. Now, coming to the question that I get frequently, and the question is, why are narcissistic, you know, parents, uh, you know, unable to see us for who we are? Why are they least interested to know our side of story? Now, you know, this is because narcissistic parents have extreme sense of entitlement, yeah? So they are their own top priority, they are least interested and concerned about the others, even though you are their spouse or child, whatever the relationship is. Plus, lack of empathy. They really don't care about your feelings and emotions. Yeah, But because of extreme sense of entitlement, they want you to care about their feeling and emotions. So it's pretty one way. Yeah, Narcissistic parents, you know, train their children to serve them 
and not the other way around. Narcissistic parents do the bare minimum for their, you know, children so that the children can survive and grow up. And when they see, you know, uh, they have reached a certain age, they start parentification, emotional incest, manipulation, gaslighting. They do all sorts of things. And this is basically to make the child a devoted, dedicated, loyal slave. Who is into betraying himself or herself and you know who keeps serving the narcissistic parent uh, and uh, you know doesn't ask any question or doesn't expect anything in return so you know uh, because of this extreme sense of entitlement lack of empathy inability to self-reflect uh, what do you think i mean would that person be interested to know what your side of story is or would that person be at all concerned to you know or find out the reason you know why you are not feeling good or you know why you are stressed no you know it's all about them i me myself i created something so that you know i have a you know unpaid laborer i had someone who's there 24 7 to serve me and not the other way around yeah so expecting them you know to hear you out expecting them to, you know try and find out your side of story expecting them to understand you i think uh, you are wasting your time yeah the sooner you realize that you're dealing with someone who's extremely self-centered someone who's extremely selfish someone who is you know um, all about i me myself you know expecting them to you know spend time and you know ask you why are you feeling this way did my action hurt you? What challenges you are facing? I think uh, it's, it's, it's not right. Yeah. Because you are expecting a healthy stuff from a toxic individual. They are designed differently. Yeah. And, you know, expecting the healthy stuff from them, you know, it's, it's very frustrating. But let me tell you honestly, even I was there at one point. And, uh, you know, I was uh, having this question in my mind and I used to ask, uh, you know, uh, this question from a lot of people. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I really wanted to know what was wrong with me that I didn't get that attention, care, affection, why all of it was confiscated, why I was discarded, yeah, why my you know, father, you know, didn't care to, you know, uh, see my side of story. Why didn't he care about my feelings? I had these questions as well. But the moment, you know, I realized what I was dealing with, all of that chatter was silenced. I had this radical acceptance. I cannot expect, you know, equal reciprocity from a dysfunctional, toxic, narcissistic individual. I cannot expect the narcissistic parent to you know uh, care for me the way how healthy parents do yeah healthy parents are going to sit with you and you know uh, try and make things work out but in narcissistic families you know they will not sit with you and try and find out your side of story or you know ask you about your feelings and emotions instead they are going to give you ultimatums if you do this everything is okay but if you do things your way I'm going to discard you, I'm going to abandon you, I'm going to withhold love and affection, I'm going to give you silent treatment, triangulate things, gaslight, manipulate. In you know, some families, they uh, physically abuse, you know, uh, their children, yeah? They even verbally abuse their children. In some of the families, they even sexually abuse their children. So, you know, uh, narcissistic parents, uh, you know, are nothing more than you know, those entitled masters who got into relationship because they want, you know, supply, who choose to become parent because they want their own source of supply. That's it. Expecting them to understand you, expecting them to sit with you and talk things out, expecting them to, you know, care for your feelings and emotions. Please don't do that. Don't make a joke out of yourself. Yeah. So, you know, I have this radical acceptance. You are dealing with someone who is built differently yeah so you know um, don't uh, expect you know healthy stuff from toxic individuals yeah uh, save that energy and you know uh, invest all that energy and emotion somewhere else where you are respected where you are appreciated where you are seen and heard it's better you know uh, 
to look out for those things where you can have you know uh, equal reciprocity yeah but it's absolutely stupid and it's absolutely you know a waste of time and energy to expect all of those healthy stuff from toxic individuals so yes uh, you know this is the uh, you know uh, reason why narcissistic parents really don't care about your feelings emotions why they fail to understand you you know because they breed you for a purpose and reason and they have the scripts ready yeah and they'll hand it over to you uh you know the do's and don'ts the pros and cons and you know their unrealistic expectations their goals and you just have to you know do things their way and you just have to keep doing things for them don't expect them to you know uh sit with you and you know talk the way how healthy parents do yeah so you know have this radical acceptance you are dealing with uh, a sick individual and that sick individual is unable to function like a healthy individual yeah so give closure and uh, you know don't expect uh, you know much from narcissistic parents so now let me tell you expecting your narcissistic parent to you know function and behave like a healthy individual is unrealistic expectation in this case yeah they are built differently they are designed differently so don't expect them to function like a healthy individual don't have this unrealistic expectations yeah because uh, they will you know uh, never be able to fulfill that yeah it's it's all about them yeah it's it's one way they brought you in this world to serve them and not the other way around yeah in healthy family dynamics everyone does their part and everyone you know takes care of each other in narcissistic families you have to be the caregiver you have to be the caretaker you have to be the therapist you have to be the punch bag emotional toilet unpaid laborer doormat you know to the narcissistic parent so you know uh, stop having all those unrealistic expectations from your narcissistic parent and have this radical acceptance they are not going to change they are who they are entitled individuals who lack empathy who have inability to self reflect and you know who are manipulative and ruthless who have extreme hunger and craving for attention and admiration so you know uh, don't waste your time expecting healthy stuff you know out from your narcissistic parent work on yourself you know uh, create your own you know uh, circle where you are validated where you are respected and appreciated and that's it when the time is right when you are financially capable uh, you have a job you you can you know start a new life on your own yeah and if you want if things are very unbearable i would suggest go no contact because uh, things are never going to work out till the time you are with narcissistic uh individuals in this case narcissistic parents you will never be successful till the time you are under their roof or till the time you are connected you know with them in some ways or the other because they have brought you in this world they trained you uh and they know the buttons to press yeah they have been training you like you know uh pets so they really know you know uh, what treats you crave yeah what treats you desire they know how to control you and manipulate you and get you back in the game so you know um, the best way is going no contact and then start over again work on your own self heal yourself recover from all that trauma all that traumatic experiences and let me tell you it is difficult but it's uh, not impossible i do you know still face some challenges Uh, though i i mean it's it's been long that i went no contact but uh, life is good let me you know tell you that life is good since the time i am away you know from those narcissistic individuals yes life has its own ups and downs but i feel you know uh, more at home i feel relaxed uh, my nervous system is relaxed i'm not in that you know uh, fight or flight mode all the time uh my fawning has reduced my freeze response has reduced so overall you know i see a lot of changes in me but yes i do have mood swings i do have my own ups and downs i do get stressed at times uh but uh, you know uh life is you know uh good life is stable and you know um i feel free yeah i don't feel trapped i don't feel as if i'm caged yeah 
so that is the you know kind of change that everyone experiences initially there is a lot of briefing and you know when you are processing all of the things but you know with time post that briefing phase you know uh, you will see a lot of changes you know uh, happening to you the way how you look at things the way how you feel about things and trust me when you have a healthy environment where you are away from toxicity and all these you know manipulation and gaslighting you will propel in life you will become successful or you will get into something which you you know love doing yeah and i mean by successful i don't mean to say that you'll become a billionaire or a trillionaire or a millionaire but you know uh, you will have a happy life you will enjoy whatever you do and you know life will be good yeah? and uh, i have seen you know uh, some of the individuals you know uh, becoming successful as well yeah so all of the magic you know begins when you are out of that circus yeah because that circus uh, is not uh, you know just the narcissistic parent that circus involves the golden child uh, the enablers the gaslighters the flying monkeys so you know uh, it, it's a it's a whole circus that you're dealing with it's not just the narcissistic parent so you go no contact and you start over again and see a lot of things are going to change i'm loving it and i'm sure you know those of you who can or who are working on it will you know um, enjoy a lot more you know uh, by being you know independent by being all by themselves and you know by going no contact so yes this was it in case if you would like to add in something you can always comment below till then take care of yourself lots of love and blessings to all of you bye